but suppose I wanted a stacked bar instead. Well, let's click this stacked bars and see what we get. And there we go. So you can see really where we wanted to put the segment is not over here in columns. So let's get rid of it. We wanted to put it into the color segment, but well, the color box. Because how else were we going to differentiate in a stacked bar all of the various bars of segments? We were probably going to do it by color. So what this color does, if I drag in state for instance, is allow you to divide up a big bar into lots of smaller bars right on top of each other. Now I can also add a tooltip. Now we can already see that these already have pretty good tooltips, but I can add another one. So for instance, if I drag a segment to tooltip, you can see now the tooltip has been expanded. Not much use, but sometimes you might want to just enhance what the tooltip says. So right at the moment, it's not much use. There may be other instances where it's much more profitable. Now that segment is a color, what else can we do with it? Well, if we hover over segment over here, you'll see that we've got a little pen marking. So if I click that, you'll see right at the bottom here, it says highlighting on segment. So what does that mean? Well, if I click one of these, you can see exactly what it means. It means that I can focus on just one element. So this could be quite useful if you just want to say, I just want to focus on East. And you, not, you notice there's a few more things you can do. You can exclude it. And if I exclude it, then if I exclude this top blue bar, then all that will remain of central are these lower two bars. So now it goes into last place. Alternatively, I can say I want to keep only that bar. Again, how useful that might be, who knows. But you'll notice that each case, we have a filter set up. So you can edit the filter what you want, how you want. Now, each time I put a dimension somewhere, it will further divide up the bar. For instance, we started with a bar showing all of West and then we put the dimension segment and it's divided up this bar into three. So if I was to put state in color in something as well, so state up here perhaps, that divides the bar one way or I could put it somewhere else and it would divide it other ways. So you can see I can put, drag it into label. You can see that the bar is being divided up. That's with dimensions. Measures can be quite useful. For instance, I've got this region, West, in the corporate segment, 3,630 items. What was the profit? What was the sales? What was the discount? If I start adding them to rows, or columns, it really distorts what I'm getting. I just want these, it's just information. So what I can do with these is add them to the tooltip. So currently the tooltip shows West Corporate 3000 quantity. If I add the discount tooltip, the profit and the sales, now when I highlight it, you can see what the discount, the profit and the sales were. Now, obviously we could do with a lot of formatting, the discount, profit and 
um, should be in the same sort of format as the sales is. It should be in dollars. Have you noticed, by the way, that all of this is using sum? Suppose I didn't want it. Suppose I wanted the average discount. Well, if I add that to tip again, I can change the measure. So the measure currently is summing, but I can say the average discount is 11 cents. Or if I wanted to do that wide, then I could say that the default aggregation is going to be account. Doesn't change what's already set up. What's set up here is the average. But if I was to set up another discount, it would show the count of the discount. In reality, that's the number of items. So whatever you've got here as the default property will be what happens when you drag it in to say something like tooltip. And this for me is one of the good thing about tooltips. You can add additional information which can be used for clarification for when you're hovering over things, but it doesn't actually clutter up your display. I mean, I can put the sum of the profit into a label. So here we have a profit of 34,437 and it's also shown as a label. And I can put the sum of the sales in as a label and I can put the sum of a discount in as a label. But quickly soon you get a really cluttered thing. Whereas if I just have them as two tips, then the information is there, but only for a particular bar when I need it. So it's entirely down to you as to how you focus on what results you are going to get. How do you want your graph to look? Minimalistic, or do you want to make it look complicated? It's entirely down to you how you want everything setting up.